More bad news for Yossi Power e-bike kit buyers if you've got a Holotech 2 crankset. For Holotech 2 cranksets, they tell you that the the pass sensor that comes with the kit won't fit it and you'll need to order another one from them basically. So I had to order the Holotech 2 one, it cost £13.80 on eBay. If you got it from other sites it might cost you about £20 or £28 even. But the rumour is the magnetic disc bit will only fit 22 ring front thing me here. So with mine's been 34, there's nothing for it to snap onto. I think it's meant to magnetically connect. Also it's pretty poorly designed and just falls to pieces. But uh, the main thing is if you've not got a 22 ring front chain ring, there's nothing for it to click cling to. This one's a 50-34 tooth front cassette or whatever you call them. No instructions with the pass sensor. It comes like that if you're wondering these two bits split apart. It's magnetically clinging on. So to me it's poorly designed anyway. It's just nothing really fits really good. That's uh, there's little bits in here that, uh, yeah, sort of, there's little gaps there. And I think this is just meant to magnetically cling onto your 22 ring on your f chain ring, your 22 tooth chain ring. But I haven't got a 22 tooth chain ring, so I'm totally hanging. I don't know what these are for, they made in case you want to try cable ties or something. But there's nothing I can do. This is the side my chain rings on, so uh, that'll sort of, I think I'll need to take that bottom bracket off and fit it in there. To me, Holotech 2 seems a, a great crank set because everything's sealed, you know, there's, there's nothing really showing. But I suppose that's a problem if you're putting an e-bike sensor on it. it. There's nowhere for it to go because it's all sort of sealed. No instructions came with this and uh, the time that I I wrote to Yossi Power Support. I think the person who replied didn't speak English. Or, well, it was certainly it wasn't a very fluent, you know. I don't think they really knew what was going on. Yeah, these things don't even really fit that well. I think one person said that they taped them together, you know, because they just, they just don't fit that well. This is how this comes, no instructions. Yeah, because everything I've done so far with the Yossi Power kit, it's a good kit, you know, but uh, it feels as everything's designed for mountain bikes. That's what they've designed it for. They've not thought that people on sort of race bikes or gravel bikes are going to use them, but... See, so this is me sort of go like there, but it's me cl clip onto the 22 tooth ring, which would be here. And it would be metal, and it would just magnetically probably just... But I've nothing for it to hold on to. Um, you know you're in trouble when you... I've done a search, Yossi Power, Holotech 2. No, what I've done is uh, Holotech 2 pass sensor, pedal assist sensor. And uh, you know you're in trouble when Reddit is one of the first things that come up. So it's things like Reddit posts, a few things in the Amazon, page for the for the uh, Holotech 2 adapter which cost about £21 on Amazon but uh, nobody nobody gave an answer really one guy said he, he made a metal plate here and he screwed it on so I'm not going to do something like that another guy said that because he's fall apart he tapes them together but he didn't say I think he had a 22 tooth thing so he had something to clip onto um, Nobody really got an answer. A German guy said he found a way. He said it didn't fit, but he found a way. But he didn't say what way, you know. I think that was actually on the Yossi Power site. Or maybe it was the Amazon's page. They said that for this Holotech pass sensor. But for most of us, if you've not got a 22 ring, I think most of us are in big trouble. And I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, this is what I've wrote. Um, so, 
Ada no really. You also probably should make a video on this on their website, you know, for the Holotech 2 adapter, but I'm pretty sure it's they're thinking that you're going to have a 22 ring mountain bike because mountain bikes traditionally have 22, 32, 42, something like that. So uh, if you've got a sort of race bike, you're starting at 34 now. Um, there's nothing for it to clip onto. I've not found an answer when I've done that Google search. It was Reddit post. I've only read a few. And there's a few third party sellers. And only one of them mentioned this 22 front ring thing. And I think they were right. Because that's what I, the conclusion I came to as well. And once I saw that in one of the third party seller sites, you know, I thought, oh, that, that's, that is the problem. There's meant to be something here. 22 tooth ring that it can clip onto magnetically. And if you're above that, you have nothing. And I couldn't even fit it like that. I couldn't even cable tie it or something. It's so squinty, it's, it doesn't fit in the centre. So, yeah, it's a poor Sean, really. Um, I've ordered an ordinary one that should, that's very small here, but and I'm going to try and fit it over there. But I don't think it'll fit, because I think this is wider than the normal ones. And there may not even be enough space there. So I don't think that's going to fit. I don't know what my answer's going to be. There's the one that came in the kit. It's so easy for all the other crank sets. I mean, it's only one piece now. It's not even two pieces. And, uh, but it's no use to me. No use for Holotech. That would have been the ideal as well. Wonder if there was anyway. I don't think so. Yeah, I ordered a cheap, normal one that's a tiny circle here. I think it's only one and a half centimetres, so that's probably won't even go over that. I'm just going to, just to check. It cost £5, including the sensor, which I don't need, I don't think. But, uh, yeah, I'm in trouble. You see, Power, you need to make a YouTube video about this. and uh, You probably need a new adapter as well to fit all tech that don't have that have big caps here, they don't have the 22 to thing. I mean this does cling on to that one. But uh, yeah, it's not much use. Holotech seems such a good crank set as well. So easy to fit. Oh, done that a bit too hard there for my liking. Turns out there's a washer there that I didn't know about. So this is my first go at this e-bike kit and uh, I don't know what I'm talking about so keep that in mind. So the final message, if you've bought a Holotech 2, if you get a Holotech 2 crank set and you've bought the the pass sensor from Yossi Power for that, unless you get the 22 front ring, you're probably not going to. It's not going to fit. If your your smallest front ring is 30, 34, it's probably not going to fit. Nobody tells you this apart from one third party site who seems to understand. Um, you also probably need to make a video on this and you need to make a, another Holo two te, Holotech 2 cr crank set pass sensor that actually fits these sort of bikes because that's the sort of teeth that road bikes will have and gravel bikes. And if you're buying these sensors, they're all these circular ones, which are pretty good, I think. So, the kit seems good, apart from that, and I don't know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to try an ordinary one that's sort of £5 from eBay, that's got a tiny hole there, 12 magnets, but I don't think it'll work. Either it won't fit, or else. It'll fit, but it won't be compatible in some way. I think this bit will fit, but uh, I've not actually tried it. It'll fit onto the bottom bracket. If you need to remove the bottom bracket in Holotech 2, you'll need a tool like this, which you may get in an Aldi or Lidl toolkit, but you can buy it itself, but it's pretty expensive. And for Holotech 2, they also recommend buying this, although people say they use coins or the finger or something but this is meant for the left side crank 
there's a sort of bit in there that you take off but the main part that keeps the crank together is two pinch bolts there's a bolt that goes in there and on the other side and they literally are what keep the whole crank set together I've got them removed at the moment I was just reading the forum there I think it was a Pedalex forum somebody with the same problem and I think what they'd done while well, they were asking about it someone said buy a normal one which will have a tiny hole here and drill it further out I think they were talking about five centimetres or something I can't remember but they, and then try and fit it in making sure it doesn't touch the bearings and that you know so uh, I think that's the sort of thing when they look at you know to get it working and they said if it if it's working in reverse flip the thing round the wrong way you know that sort of thing so I'm really stuck don't quote me on anything